All right. So today, we're gonna do a longer video, a long sh version rather than the shorts that we've been doing lately. The shorts I've been able to do because I can just do it real quick, but I know you guys wanna learn how to do things and you can't really learn much by watching the shorts. It's just so quick. Anyhow, when you're masking for painting with the signs, there's, of course, you can always use painter's tape if you're doing a small project, but if you're doing something bigger, then you need a larger mask. Now this is Aura Mask 813, which is the go-to for most people, but what I have found lately is it doesn't stick as well to a painted surface. And what I mean is like the paints we use, we use the uh, Bare Ultra paints from like Home Depot that people can choose online and choose any color. And this isn't specifically made for that. This works real well on the PVC if it hasn't been sanded, um, if it's just bare. The other thing is it's thick. And what happens is when you set up your tool paths, it automatically does the larger first. And what I mean by that is like if I'm using a half inch clearance bit, it goes down and it clears out that first. Well, what that's doing is ripping the mask. And so it's been leaving tears. And I wanted to try to fix that and fix that problem so that I wouldn't have to keep going back with masking tape. And so I talked to the people at our local supplier and they told me about Aura Mask 811. Now it looks white, you can't tell that it's even on there. It looks like that's just the PVC, but it's got white aura mask on there and it's 813 is the number, excuse me, 811 is the number specifically made for what they say household paints. And I would assume that like the Bear Ultra paints are like household paints. The other nice thing is it's thinner. So what I've done and figured out to fix the problem with it tearing is I first will go and do a, uh, a light 2000s cut with the 90 degree bit that cuts out the shape of whatever we're gonna be cutting. So it literally cuts a fine line and that way when we go back with the second step which is the, uh, the, the big half inch bit which hogs out the big material, it doesn't rip and tear it. If you can see, it's perfect. I didn't have to add any tape no masking tape or anything. And I'm gonna put up a little video that I made of it doing the fine cut. I only go down about two thousandths of an inch. So it literally just does a little outline cut of everything. And then you go back and do the rest of the V carving and it turns out perfectly. So this has got the second color paint uh, into the grooves and on all the letters. I'm about to peel it off. So you're for the first time gonna to get to see what it looks like. This particular sign is for a uh, realtor. We've done a few signs before. The other thing I find is that your finger nail works a lot better than any kind of tool because your fingernail is a little bit softer and it's not going to tear up the material. So I always suggest keeping at least one of your nails a little bit longer. I keep my thumbnails just a little bit. And this way, you can peel off without it scarring anything up. You might hear some thunder in the background. We're in Florida and it's raining a little bit today. So all I'm doing is peeling off the aura mask, which the surface underneath it is painted the color that the customer had requested. It's a bare color. And again, I'm just using fingernails. The other nice thing that you should pay attention to is not lifting straight up because you could lift the paint off. So you want to pull the mask off at an angle, as much of an angle as you can pulling like that. Instead of lifting up, pull it at an angle. Again, 
fingernail, no tools. I don't like to use tools when it comes to the signs because it'll end up scarring it. Takes a little while to peel everything off. It kind of reminds me when I was a little kid in elementary school, we would put the, the white glue on our hands and then peel it off like it was another skin. Kind of reminds me of that. So just take your time and peel that all off. I think some people, this is the most satisfying part, is just peeling that mask off. It does take a while. And I really like this Aura Mask 811. It's thinner and it's actually, to me, easier to pull off. And it looks so good underneath. And by the way, if you're trying to get your YouTube page monetize the shorts is the best way to go because you can get so many views so quickly even though you can't do a lot of explanation in one minute you can speed it up so that people get an idea of what it is that you're doing but I prefer to do a longer one like this where I get a chance to talk and tell some of the tips and show you guys exactly how long it takes to do stuff. You can't really tell in the shorts videos how long it takes because you don't know whether the person has sped it up two times, five times, ten times, the regular speed. It's not one of those jobs that you can just do fast. You actually need to take your time because if you rush, that's when you make mistakes. You just take it slow. You peel off a little bit at a time. Don't try to do it all at once. The end result is always better when you take your time. See how good that looks underneath? So you probably hear the rain in the background. Sorry about that noise. I have a metal roof on my barn, so it's kind of loud. My old wife loves the sound of the rain on the metal roof. I guess that can be peaceful and mesmerizing for some people. I do want to thank everybody for helping us get monetized. We've made $3.20 so far in the past couple weeks. So I don't think we're going to get rich on YouTube. But I do want to thank everybody for helping us get to that point. I feel pretty good as a Gen X for being able to even get my foot into that ring. We are not sponsored by anybody. All the products that you see me making 
are funded by us or by our customers. So any contributions help if you share this with your friends. I'm hoping eventually we get enough views that we'll be able to do more projects and afford to do more things that people request. Right now, I mostly just show jobs that we're working on. There's a whole lot more custom stuff that we would like to do. If you have any special requests, please put it down in the comments and we'll see if we can get to it. Many of you guys saw over the weekend, but we had the second and third largest bank failures in U.S. history, and of course, one of them is Silicon Valley Bank, which does a lot of this banking for Etsy, which is where we do most of our business. Unlike a lot of people, we didn't get an email saying that there would be a delay in our deposits. So we have money that's supposed to be going in today. We'll see, hope so. We're a small business, we need every cent. I hope you're able to hear me even with the rain. Now the compressor. Boy, the sign looks just amazing. That bare paint is such good paint. starts to come together and you get to see what it looks like underneath. I can't stress enough about patience when it comes to this. It's just like when you're doing vinyl the weeding, removing everything except the product that's underneath. Like that old expression, slow and steady wins the race. I think they were talking about this. Glad we have very good lightning rods on this barn. When we first put the machine out here, the electrician talked me into getting this, I think it's like a spark arrestor or something like that. It was like five or six hundred dollars, but it was guaranteed for five years all of my equipment that would never get any lightning damage. 
or they replace it. That was totally a, worth it because here in Florida, the lightning capital of the world, we get a ton of lightning strikes. We've had as many as 40,000 in one night here in Florida. God, this is looking so good, right? This customer is going to be really pleased with this sign. And maybe if he sees this video, he'll realize how long it takes to actually make the signs. Most people think that the machine does everything. There's a whole lot of hand done, hand work, when it comes to finishing the final parts of it. Almost done. This is the smallest stuff right here. So, if you want to make signs, make sure you plan on having to spend time on the, the finishing. It doesn't go as fast as you think. It doesn't just come off the machine ready to go. It's all in the finishing work at the end. All comes down to being patient, taking your time, and doing a good job on the finish work. To me, it's kind of relaxing doing this. Like therapeutic. Because you know that it looks amazing underneath and you're just having to peel off the layers. I guess I would say it's kind of like working on an old house that has tons and tons of layers of paint and you just need to remove it to get to the beauty underneath. looks so fantastic. It might be my favorite part is the last part here like this. Peeling off all of the final covering. It might be boring for you to watch all of this Feel free to speed it up just to the end so you can see what it looks like at the end. Some people like to watch this part. I wonder if you can hear that rain coming down. The 
always got to be careful not to scratch your final work. You don't want to have to go redo it at this point. And I think this is the last piece. And that's it. We're done. Nice looking sign. I'll clear coat it now after I wipe it down. But that's it.